Hi Astro Addicts, my name is Tim and welcome back to Astro Addict and welcome to a Pixinsight quick tip. This is NGC7822, a recent image of mine and I now want to annotate this image. I want maybe an equatorial grid on there, some circles with explanatory names, maybe some named stars, but there are no named stars in here, to get a better the feeling of what I see and to share it with others. It kinda has a more scientific reasoning behind it, aside from just looking pretty cool. The first thing we have to do, this image is stretched, stretch your images. You can also work on the finally edited image. But right now this is just a stack and stretch. The first thing we need to do is to tell Pixinsight where in the sky this image is. We need to combine the coordinates with this image. So we go, we select the image, go for script, analysis, and image solver. At first, we tell Pixinsight the image center roughly. So I will search and hit NGC7822, search, and then find the right object in the list. This one will do great. You can, of course, check the coordinates manually and maybe enter them from Stellarium to make sure they are correct. Date and time has to be set correctly. So I took this in April, 19th of April, around midnight. The important settings are down here. I will enter focal distance of my telescope, 350, the pixel size of my camera. In this case, this image has been drizzled, which means I need to double my focal distance in this tab to make it correct. If your image is not drizzled, stay with your main focal length. Don't double it. The parameters down here are fine. The most important ones are correct coordinates, time and settings right here. If this process does not work, there can be quite a lot of reasons. You may have forgotten to double your focal length if your image is drizzled. Try to get better coordinates of the image center in here, get a better date and time. Or maybe your image is too distorted if you have maybe a wide field image. I tried this recently on a wide field image where half of the image was just foreground, my garage. It didn't work. It won't work like this. So on deep sky images it works the best. I will hit OK. It will now download some data and try to do some plate solving to match the stars. This looks great. The process is done. We can see it successfully solved our image. And now these coordinates are saved in the image header. Now we can go into script, render and annotate image. This looks maybe a bit overwhelming, but let's work it through. We have the layers of things we can select to show in our image. I want to show a grid, constellation borders, constellation lines, looks great. In this case there are no Messier objects and no named stars, so just leave those out. There is an NGC object in here. So I will go to this layer and you can set your own custom preferences. The width of the lines and the font, font size, color, everything like that. If you have set everything you can go in the output mode, annotate and just hit OK. And here we have our annotated image. You can of course go back and tweak the settings, maybe make the lines bigger, maybe make the coordinates over here a bit bigger, but most of the time thin lines of the grid look nice and you want the explanatory circle around your object. And you can also see there's an open star cluster here. So this is how you annotate. And just one more quick tip. You can go into the render script again and if you want to use this in a video maybe to make a moving target, go to generate transparent overlay. And to this overlay can now be saved as a PNG file and used for example in a video. I did that once, I think about in a video about the Orion Nebula. And it looks really great. So this has been this Pixinsight quick tip. As always, if you have questions or feedback, leave them in the comments down below. 
And if you think I could do something better, I will pin the comments to the top. As for me, my name is Tim, I'm an astro addict, I wish you clear skies, and may the night be with us.